guys, this is Jackson, and today we are going to be playing some Terraria. So, we are going to be playing a single player game, um, basically, same as normal on our world. So, today we are going to be making preparations for the next boss. So, I haven't really done anything since we've been gone. I have looked up on the wiki a little bit, and I actually did have a goblin army come while I was um, just randomly playing just a little bit to catch I caught a goldfish and then a goblin army came um, I did end up defeating them and I got a harpoon which is pretty awesome so yeah I did get a harpoon from the goblin army which is I think it's only drop Today, we are going to be trying to prepare for fighting the Brain of Cthulhu. So, if you guys don't know what the Brain of Cthulhu is, it's basically a crimson boss that spawns in the crimson. And he spawns out a bunch of minions. And the only reason I am going to be trying to fight him is because I need tissue samples and the brain of cthulhu drops tissue pan samples and so do so do the minions um that he spawns in so there are going to be a lot of minions and stuff but we are going to basically be making a house in the crimson for the nurse that i have because i'm gonna have her move into the house in the crimson but yeah we're going to basically be making preparations over at the crimson today so i am going to meet you guys when we are over at the crimson okay guys so we are in the crimson now it is still a little bit nighttime sort of so we are going to have to wait to go down in the cave where the crimson hearts are because by the way we do have to smash three crimson hearts in order to have the brain of cthulhu spawn so I have already smashed one, and that was a test to see if um, the dynamite actually worked on it. So I did end up doing that. I did actually just mess up here. Okay, there we go, that works. Okay, so yes, basically I've already smashed one, and that was why the goblin army spawned, because if I hadn't, then the goblin army wouldn't have actually spawned. But it does seem to be fine now. Um, the goblin army wasn't actually that hard. I died once, but that was just because I was so surprised and I was actually hiding in my house because I didn't know what to do. Because there were just tons of them. Um, but I did end up beating them. So it looks like it's sort of daytime. So I think I think I'm good to go so let's just come down here and by the way now that I have this blood butcherer thing I can just annihilate all the mobs pretty easily because I don't know I just I just they are much easier um, I'm not really sure what this guy is doing so I'm just gonna go over here okay so it looks like we are entering back into the desert and then and then there's a cave that goes down and it's that is the one that we have to go into so it's not this one we're going to the hellstone cave which is the one like right over here so let's defeat this guy real quick and then we are going to grapple on to that okay so it's this cave right here that looks strangely like a mouth going in um so this cave does have a lot of blood crawlers in it. I'm, I can take them on pretty easily, but we, it's still going to be pretty hard to defeat them. So let's just go down deeper into the cave. Uh, it's kind of just like a zigzag all the way down. Um, I don't think there's any blood crawlers yet, so I'm just going to umbrella down. Okay, it looks like there's a face monster. Oh, and also this harpoon is really good for defeating like mobs and stuff because it's a rapid fire as long as you just hold it like that. It's pretty amazing. 
So I'm just gonna like... And it has, it's a pretty long ranged weapon as well. So let's, it looks like there's a worm here and I can demonstrate demonstrate the pure power of this weapon. So, and we can also demonstrate it on this guy. Oh, that's powerful. This is gonna be great against the boss because the boss is gonna be teleporting a little bit. Shipton the Traveling Merchant has arrived. I really kind of do want to go back and see Shipton, but I don't think I'm going to because I already got this far. So, while those guys can't get in, I'm going to start making, oh, I should probably keep that in. Oh crap. But that just rapid fire aspect of it is just amazing. Okay, so there's one right here. Huh, okay. It's kind of a good weapon, but I did lose a lot of health doing that. So, I'm not really sure about it. Let's start making a house for the nurse to move in, because I'm going to basically make a house up here and so that I can heal myself whenever I need to be healed because that's how I that's how I defeated the eye of Cthulhu so I'm thinking it should be okay if I just do it like that I think I just chucked a grenade on accident okay so like right here no it's like gonna start there because there's gonna be a door and then there's gonna be a harpoon in this guy's face. And then another harpoon in this guy's face. And then, I think we're good to go. We just need to finish off the house right here for the nurse to go into. I don't know if she'll, if she'll move in right away, but I'm pretty sure she will move in sometime or other. I think we're going to have to make a so this is going to be the nurse's little hut, and I think we're going to have to make some chairs and stuff, because I don't think I remembered to do that. Let's put that there, because um, I just want to replace the walls on the background. Is the walls on the background good? Here, I'm going to go into the housing. Oh, I don't think this can be placed. It has to be on a block, like an actual block. Okay, well then, we're just going to have to take out these guys real quick. Looks like I'm getting swarmed by blood, blood claw, clawlers. Being swarmed by blood clawlers, guys. We better, like, watch out because of blood clawlers. Because that's totally a thing. Not at all. Um, I don't think I can replace the walls. But I think I'm going to still need a door for the house to be sufficient for her to live in. Um, these guys actually do quite a bit of damage. It's just going to be annoying because there's going to be a ton of blood claw crawlers coming out all at once. So, I think I'm going to be fighting more towards the top here. And then put like a, a block or something. I, I probably should do that so that I don't just get a ton like that whole swarm right there that you just saw. So, I think I'm just going to cover it. Um, but I am going to have to do the crimson heart things. So I'm wondering if maybe I should make a bed and put it here and set that as my spawn point. Um, so I can just teleport up as soon as that happens. But I'm going to put, I'm going to see if this is sufficient housing. Um... This is not valid housing. So I think I just need a chair. And also, yeah, chair, something else. So I'm gonna get my harpoon out because it looks like there are a ton of enemies that are about to come up here in a second. So um, we are going to make a crafting table for myself. And then we are going to make a table 
and a not rich mahogany chair. We're gonna make a normal chair and put it there, but I didn't even get it. Okay, there we go. So I think if we just put the table in there, and that in there, does it have to have a floor or does that not count? Wait, let me go to the housing icon and see. Oh my gosh, those guys are so close to being breaking out. They just did. Oh crap. Oh my gosh! Ah! Holy cow! Did you see how fast I annihilated those guys? That was scary. So I am going to go to the housing icon and see if this is suitable. This is not valid housing. So, what I think I have to do is smash the walls behind it, but I can't actually do that. So, I'm just wondering how I'm going to make valid housing. Okay, so I have decided that I'm not actually going to be able to have the nurse move in, which kind of sucks. So, this is just going to be a random house that I put here, just in case I have emergencies or something. So, like, this will be kind of like my secondary house until we get to go back to our, um place so I'm going to make another row of platforms I think and we're gonna put our healing potions in our inventory because we want them just in case one of the platforms okay 300 wood platforms and we are going to let's wait till the swarm comes back maybe I should just defeat the swarm right now I think I'm going to. Oh my gosh. This is really fast at killing them. Like, I'm surprised how fast it is because. Okay, so we are going, it looks like they are coming up. Okay, I got that guy, but I don't know if this guy is coming up for another round. Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he not? Is he coming? Yes, he is. Okay. Ow. 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 What? How did that not hit him? That totally hit him. It's lying. The game is clearly lying. So we are low on health, but we should take this time to actually try and make some more platform here because I want to be able to kind of make myself movable so I don't just completely die because I'll have to stand at the bottom um, so let's remove some of this platform here and then just keep going all the way to the edge so we're just gonna keep doing this until we're like lower down and there is kind of like a, a like a staircase kind of in the way because when I first explored this, I I had no clue what I was doing, and I tried to make a staircase up so that I could get out, and it sort of worked. I was mostly just trying to escape because I just had like a ton of things after me. So also, I know that these things are a thing. That thing at the very bottom it's called not a face monster um it's like this the thing by the face monster it's like that little flesh thing with eyeballs whenever i hit it with my hammer to try and destroy it it like it hurts me so i don't really know what it is i think i'm going to try and figure it out soon let's kill this sucker with a harpoon and we are going to start destroying this thing. So, shade wood destroyed. Let's just try and destroy it all, kind of. And then I feel like we can face the blood, cl blood cl clawlers. The, the blood clawlers alone is what we can face. Um, let's try and get away from this guy and then shoot him and then shoot him again. Okay. Cool, we got extra hearts back. We are now shipped in the traveling merchant has departed. Too bad I didn't get to see him. That would have been cool, but um, 
I'm I couldn't have because I would have been doing this so let's definitely not fall to the bottom like we just did so as you can see down here is where the the hearts are and I already destroyed one and it was like right here in this area kind of so this these are all the crimson heart, hearts so basically we just have to destroy two more and then we can um and then we fight the boss and once we fight the boss we are going to get some tissue samples which would be really nice to have why is there just like a random slime just like hanging out in here like what the heck what has life come to um let's mine that jump up jump down okay crap so i want to get rid of this guy because he's just been attacking me like mad um let's kill this chimera and it looks like there's quite a few monsters here i'm mostly worried about that snake guy those things are super annoying i mean i guess i'm not super worried that he's there but like sometimes they just can be like so annoying so there is a slime up there and there's that worm guy we were just talking about you bro mind that oh my gosh there's like four of them okay I am officially scared now. Um, let's kill these slimes. Because I don't know how they got there. And let's kill this Chimera. Because I don't know how he got there. And we're also going to kill the Blood Crawler. The Blood Crawler. Because I can't say it right ever. Whenever I say it, I just mess up completely. Um, we are going to wait a second. Because... I want to mine this staircase, but I am kind of in a bad position to do so right now. So I think I can just like... Oh my gosh, they're getting closer and closer by the second. Oopsies, I didn't mean to mine that torch. Okay, so now I can't see anything. And I'm going to have to get those torches out out and put it in replace of that ow okay so we are basically almost done let's try to kill this guy there we go finally that took like forever okay so we are going to make some more platforms right now okay so i have switched my tactic i'm going to be going from the bottom up so i'm basically going to line this place with torches because the boss battle is going to be really hard and it would be nice if it wasn't completely dark when we go into it so basically this whole place is going to be lined with platforms so we can kind of be movable and get around easier because I want to be able to actually like be able to move around in the boss fight and not get completely annihilated. It looks like there is another cave or something that leads over there. I think I'm gonna go check that out real quick. So um it's just an it just leads to another crimson heart. So basically yeah just line this place with torches because you never know we might end up over here in this boss fight. So, definitely kill that. And are there more, like, yeah, there are. Okay. So, you can actually kill kill those things and get money out of them, which is pretty nice. So, we're going to kill that red slime, and we're also going to kill this red slime. I'm not really sure why they're here, but they're here. Um, Kill them. Jeez, I don't know why those guys are here. Honestly, I thought maybe Chimera or something would be here. Um, let's go right here. And it looks like the cave ends here. And it looks like there's a blood crawler stuck in the water. <gasps> oh, that sucks for you, mate. Okay. We're just going to come up here and kill all these slimes. I have no clue where they're coming from. Um, let's come back up and continue this right now. 
So let's come. Um, let's not mine. Let's not go there. We're gonna go one down, like right here-ish. And let me go get that platform. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna continue mining up. I mean, making platforms up until we can do this. So. Okay guys, so we have basically made all the platforms, so our preparation is basically done. So that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, in the next episode, we are actually going to be trying to fight the Brain of Cthulhu, which will be pretty awesome. That's probably going to be coming out sh really shortly after because I'm not going to be able to wait long enough to not fight him. So, anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!